And what about Bo's brother? Looks like Clint has problems of his own. Oh my goddess, Clint's new heart is giving out. No wonder. Oh, my poor mother. She needs me. She needs us. They all do. Oh, I've missed you so much. We had so little time together. Look at you. You're as beautiful as you ever were. And so are you. No, no. No, I'm not. That's... Wait. Oh, Alison Perkins. She shot me. Oh. Oh, I've been here before. Yes, you have. Where's Clint? Someone else is attending to Clint right now. What's going on? Where am I? Turn that off. I can't see. Who are you? Stacy Morasco. And I want my damn heart back. Why do you look like the old Stacy Morasco? You had that surgery, I heard all about it. <laughs> Just be glad you didn't have to pay for it. Cost me an arm and a leg, let me tell you. So why don't you look like Gigi? Um, because this isn't the planet Earth. You make you wear your real face here. Here? Where's here? Um, hello, carbon monoxide poisoning? Or did you forget the part where they cut me open and gave you my heart without even asking? So if you died, then this is what? The afterlife? <laughs> the gates of heaven. Um, it's a little gloomy for heaven, don't you think? A bit on the warm side. Well, then what the hell? Bingo! Now you're getting a picture. The last time I saw Clint, he was lying on the floor. I, I don't understand this. Who, who's taking care of him? I'm not here to answer those questions. I'm here for you. But this is not just about me, sweetheart. My whole family is in a crisis. Mitch Lawrence escaped from prison. He kidnapped Natalie. Jessica went to trade her it's life. It's over. Natalie and Jessica are safe. Are you sure? They're in no danger from Mitch anymore. Oh, thank God. Thank God. My girls are both fine. Natalie. It's fine, but Jessica... <sighs> You're trying to make me think that I'm in hell, and that's ridiculous. What's ridiculous is how much crap you got away with. Kidnapping, switching paternity tests. I mean, you didn't even come forward when you knew Shane needed a bone marrow transplant. Oh, and uh, what about when you hired those goons to turn Robert Ford into hamburger? Mr. Ford has sins of his own to answer for. He deserved everything he got. <laughs> your brother didn't deserve what he got, now did he? So what's your excuse for what you did to Bo? You tried destroying your brother's marriage, didn't you? Blackmailing some woman to drug him and trying to sleep with him? That was bad enough, but then to sick that, oh, disgusting Eddie Ford of Nora. That I regret. Who cares what you regret? You're a completely horrible person, which is why you're here with me. And you're supposed to teach me a lesson. You're here to clean up the mess that you made of your life. That way. Oh my God! Mom! John! John, I need help! Mom, are you okay? She's been shot. Hey, Clint. Clint. Mom, can you hear me? Mom. We have 
two victims. One's been shot. One has a history of heart problems. Both are non-responsive. Get please, here please. now, okay? EMS is on the way. Could do this to you. Please, can you hear me? Come on, cowboy. Time to head off to your last roundup. I'm not going anywhere with you. <laughs> you have a reservation, and you and that bad heart were supposed to be here months ago. Well, that reservation is gonna have to wait, because Vicky needs me. That lunatic shot her. Allison Perkins, right? Oh, that girl does have style. I don't want to talk about Allison Perkins. I need to get home. Because you're right about one thing. I made a mess out of my life. Thanks to Vicky, I'm making amends. <laughs> you're right. I am. I'm becoming a better man for her and because of her. So let me finish what I started. Above ground with my family, with Vicky. <sighs> Too late, cowboy. Vicky's toast. John, um, there's not a pulse. I can't find a pulse. I can't find a pulse. Okay. Mom, mom, please. Mom, mom, mom. Stay with her. Once a liar, always a liar. <laughs> Don't you dare try to tell me that Vicky is dead. Sorry, amigo. Even the great Victoria Lord can't live forever. Allison plugged her, and you blew out a perfectly good heart that should be mine, because you had to get so freaked out about it. Vicky can't be dead. She's not dead. What do you care? You're dead, too, remember? I'm not getting the pulse, either. Could be a cardiac arrest. I'm sorry, CPR. Hey. Please. It's going to be OK. Don't take hold of my parents. I can't die. Not when Vicky needs me. What about all the other people who love her? The boys, and Natalie, and Jessica, she... Wait. Allison said something about Jessica. Right before she fired the gun. I just remembered something that Allison said about Mitch not being Jessica's father. She said it was Clint all along. If you're talking... I have to find out if what Allison said is true. But... But... I, I don't seem to have the strength to move. A lot has been asked of you. And you've always answered the call. But it's okay to let go now. I don't want to let go. It's hard to leave the ones we love. I know. I had to do it with Jake, remember? He came home to me just in time. He planted that tree for me. Out in the snow, all covered with hearts. I wanted to stay so badly. But I couldn't. And it was okay. How did you do it? I was ready. And Jake's love kept me safe. And love can do the same for you, Vicki. So many people love you. I love you. Stay with me now and we'll have forever. We can make up for all the time we've lost. But only if you let go. Are you ready? I have to get out of here. Vicky and I have to know if what Allison said is true. I told you, Vicky's history. I mean, who cares who Jessica's bio daddy is? Would it really change anything? No, it wouldn't change how I feel about her. But for her to know that she is not the child of a monster like Mitch Lawrence, that would be the best gift I could ever give her. <laughs> well, Christmas is over, Santa Claus. It's time to give it up. I don't give up on family. And I will never give up on Vicky, so you can just get the hell out of here. Are you ready to come with me? Vicky, stop! Don't do it. Listen, the EMTs are here, okay? They're gonna take care of you now, and everything's gonna be fine, okay? All right? I've got this one. Give Louis a hand. Oh. Well, Dad's okay, too. Okay, and Jessica's fine, and I, I'm fine. Okay? I need you, okay? I need you, I need you and dad, mom, please, mom. She's 
Stop breathing. Yeah. You just need some beef him. <laughs> hey, do something, all right? Do it now. Get the machine going. We're not losing them. Okay, clear. Vicky, no! Don't go through that door. Our children need us. And we finally have each other again. Isn't that worth living for? Vicky, you've beaten the odds a hundred times before. So have I. Let's do it again. Together. I'm not ready. I can't let go. Hey, Glenn. Glenn, can you hear me? Dad. Dad. She's taking breaths on her own again. Guys, good work.